Okay, so here we go. Here is the Wolverine X-Men 97 animated series Marvel Legends. So, the file packaging looks very nice. It's nice cardboard, nice and thick stock. Uh, you got a nice picture of Wolverine there. When you open it up, if you're very careful and diligent, you don't rip it. You can actually put it on display. There's the back of it. There you can see everyone that comes with you. Already know the series who came out with. Yes, Cyclops wasn't part of it. I'm sure he'll be part of wave number two. So there you guys go. That's the back of it. And let's unbox them, shall we? So I've been saying this all along. Marvel Legends need stands to properly pose them. I've been watching a lot of videos and people posing them with their hands and stuff like that. Just get yourself a stand. And I can tell you right now, you can do a lot of cool flight poses and really get creative with posing with your Marvel Legends figures. Um, I don't know why they don't... Look at that. See what I mean? I don't know why they don't include a stand. I think Marvel Legends to start doing that and charge a little bit extra more, but it makes a huge difference when you're photographing and, you know, doing a video because some of these poses, unless you have a stand, it is virtually impossible to do on their own. They're just not, they just don't have the sturdiness to pose on their own there, right? I mean, you can see there, I'm cheating the shot there. If you're a professional, you know what I'm doing there, right? Uh, but again, this is a cool figure. Honestly, the colors on it, they nailed it. For what you're paying for, I'm actually very happy with this one. It's definitely an upgrade over the Wolverine that came out years ago, uh, the yellow-blue one, where the colors were just, you know, they're okay, but they weren't vibrant, the typical yellow-blue. And I think, you know, Hasbro realized that they're like, you know what, let's get, you know, the yellow-blue Wolverine that everyone's accustomed to. Those are the colors we want. And yeah, here he is. And one thing I've noticed, is it a repaint of the brown yellow one? Because I have the brown yellow one. It kind of is, but I've noticed with this one, it was easier to stand them, and it wasn't as floppy as the brown yellow one that came out a few, few years ago, that part of the retro series. There he is, unmasked. Cool. They did a really, actually, to be honest with you, they did a really good job with the face sculpt. This is actually very well done, especially for Hasbro. That is a nice Wolverine Logan face sculpt. Look at that. Really well done. The sideburns, they got the hair there. Again, for what you're paying for, I think you're getting your money's worth definitely with this figure. No doubt about it. There is with the cowl there, pulled down on the back of them there, so you can pose them like that. But they totally nailed the look of this one. They, I'm very pleased, pleasantly surprised with this figure, to be honest with you. There you go. Look at that. Nicely done. Like, the face sculpt is really detailed, and it's not, like, chippy or anything like that or too glossy. You know what I mean? That's the term. I don't... It's not a glossy look to it, right? And there's Logan in mid-motion walking with this mask there after a fierce battle. So you could do a lot of cool poses with this figure. But I do recommend definitely getting a stand um, if you want to put them in a proper pose and really get the most out of this figure. So with any of the Marvel Legends, check out our Daredevil video we just did with the Marvel Knights. Same thing, right? So overall... I can't complain. You know what? This is actually, I really can't say anything bad about this figure. I think it's very well done. I'm going to give it a 9.5 of 10. Why I'm taking it a 10 out of 10? Because, you know, you just got to give a half mark off. Okay. So for some reason, this video audio was cutting off there. Sorry about that, guys. So again, I'm going to give this at least, like I was saying, a 9.5 out of 10. Why am I taking a half mark off? Because, well, is it a perfect figure, 10 out of 10? No, because you got to use... Um, stands to get some proper poses but if you didn't have to use a stand then it would be a 10 out of 10 so yeah that's our ranking 9 out of 10 all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and be sure to drop a comment or a like if you have this figure as well and let us know what your feelings are about it take care